Plastic water bottles are a major source of bisphenol A, a cancer-causing estrogenic that messes up your hormones in a bad way and slowly poisons our bodies. So how do you carry around water or juice or smoothies? Stainless steel contains nickel, a carcinogenic heavy metal, and those metal bottles also give the water that icky metallic taste. A great way of getting a glass that you can drink out of or take with you in the car for smoothies and stuff like that is what I like to do. Like for example, here's one from Trader Joe's. It's got peaches in it. And actually, there's not really anything bad in here. It's just peaches and grape juice. That's all it is, um, which I use the peaches on my durian for a nice snack. After it's clean, I have a glass jar. It's not plastic, so you don't have the BPH and the poisons and the estrogenics, which give you cancer, because glass is what you want. So this is a great way to take a screw top sealed glass jar with you during the day when you have anything to take with you. Smoothies this is what I do. I make smoothies in the morning and just fill one or two of these up, take it with me in the car. A great way to have a healthy drinking thing. It's also a wide mouth jar, so it's really easy to get stuff in and drink out of it like a glass. Many people cannot even afford proper drinking water. They drink city water right out of the tap that oftentimes can smell like dead animals. The reason for this is the chlorine in the water, a poison that kills bacteria and living things. And remember, you've got slime and mold in those pipes too, so now you've got decaying, dead slime and mold. So now you're drinking water with poison and dead rotting matter, and rust from the pipes and who knows what. Not fun. The best water is filtered spring water, delivered in glass bottles like Mountain Valley spring water. It's the water the president drinks, and no, I'm not getting paid to say this, it's the water I personally drink also. But it's not cheap and many people can't afford it. And what do you do when traveling? Well, one really cheap way is to get some of those gallon-sized glass bottles of apple juice. Throw out the apple juice because that's just pasteurized sugar water. Wash it out and take it to your local grocery store where they usually have these water vending machines. Sure, it's city water, but it goes through a five-stage filtration process that your house tap water doesn't. For 30 cents, you get a gallon of cheap drinkable water that you can keep in gallon-sized glass jars. Of course, nothing's as good as fresh spring water right out of the ground, but for most people who live in the city or have no money or are traveling on road trips, this is a good alternative if nothing else. Survival is sometimes about using what's available and making the best of it. I'm Marcus Rothkrantz. Stay tuned for more helpful, cheap survival tips for the modern world at marcusnews.com.